Hello ladies and gents, it's Amanda from scrimpingmummy.co.uk and I'm coming on to show you a purchase that I've made for myself. <laughs> um, quite frequently I buy things just for work and to demonstrate and for kits and things like that and I purchased this for myself because I thought it was cute and I've wanted it a long time and, I'm, and it's arrived today and I'm that impressed with it and I'm that enamoured with it that I just had to come on and share it. Um, I think um, some of my shabby sheet ladies would absolutely love this and it is the mini treat bag thinlets now I know what you're all going to say oh, can they come all you've got to do is fold some paper in half absolutely right but to have them exactly the same size every single time have them spot on means that you can do an awful lot with these Okay, my brain has been going ten to the dozen so I'm going to quickly show you what it's about and I'm going to put one together for you and then um, we'll, we'll take it from there. So this is the set. You'll have to excuse my desk. I've been crafting all day and I'm in a big mess and I don't care. Um, so, so these two um, dies here basically construct the bag. So that's your main one and that attaches to there and that will cut out your shape. Uh, and as you can see, the top is, um, you know, serrated which is the wrong word but you know what I mean it's um what's the word <laughs> um it's like pink using pinking shears isn't it you know uh all the score lines are in when you cut it so all you've got to do is stick that piece onto that piece fold it all boom you're good to go okay you get a banner which you can decorate it with. These here, I should imagine, you well, I've not used them yet, but you can put them, say, at the bottom or at the top of your bag and it will cut out and make little holes. So it'd make little star holes or heart holes or you've got these little dots which you could perhaps feed ribbon through. I've got to play with this set really well, um, but as soon as I opened it, I loved it. So I should imagine you'd be able to feed ribbon through there. You know, when it's punched out them little hearts, you can use them. Put them in the bag as, um, you know, wrapping confetti. Um, you, so that's those. You also get these shapes, uh, a star and a heart for decorating. You also get two word dies. Now, you know, it's worth it for these for me. <laughs> this one says for you and this one says enjoy and it cuts out like that. That's the for you. I've cut it in brown so you could see it. And then this is the enjoy. And it does have a dot for the top of the J. <laughs> it's on, him, on my desk here somewhere. I've lost it. But it does have a dot for you to glue on. And then you will also get this little bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how it goes together and then I'll show you what I've created. Now I'm using um, contraband paper because I... Oh, pardon me, I'll just turn my phone off. <laughs> um, because my stocks are running short on my Stamping Up DSP and they weren't quite the look I was going for. I wanted a vintage shabby chic look so I've used some of my own paper. <laughs> I'm being a bit nata. So these are your pieces that you get cut, okay? So that's, um, let me just show you, that's this piece. And that is that piece. I don't know why I've cut two. Why have I cut two? I don't know. I've cut two, probably because you can cut two from, um, if you get a sheet of 12 by 12 and cut it in half, you'll get two of these large pieces. Um, so... You know, you can probably get, I uh, think I worked out, you can get three from two and a half sheets of 12 by 12. So it's not bad. It's a good way of using up some DSP. I mean, they, I've had this laying around for about 20 million years. So what you do is you fold and burnish, fold on all of those score lines because it's pretty, it cuts and, and leaves you with score lines. So you fold all of those. And then if you want to ink it, you can ink it. And then all you do is just attach it. it. It's so fast. I actually think it's easier than making your own. Because um, you've got to work out the measurements. You've got to blah, blah, blah. You know, this one, you know it's going to be the same every time. Um, and I'm going to explain to you why that's an added benefit in a minute when I'm just putting this together. <laughs> so there you go. So then you line that up. 
Um, oh, I hope I can get it lined up straight now because the light's failing. I'm using a spotlight to be able to see. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat as it is. Okay. I've lined that up fairly nicely. So that's what it looks like, okay? And then obviously you just fold that together and fold that up. And it's a nice, neat finish. Yeah? It is if you get your scar line straight. <laughs> and that just looks like a shop-bought bag. It really does. It's stunning. And obviously you can do it in your own, your own choice of paper. You could use... Um, cardstock and stamp your own design you could do anything you could use copy paper you could cut out brown parcel paper and stamp that yourself you could cut out vellum and make your own vellum bags um, you could cut out the uh, good old uh, grease proof paper and make fake vellum bags I've done that before right so that folds over like so now this is one part where I, I I was really interested because before I attached that I was just thinking of mini albums because I just see this as a hinge I don't know why <laughs> so I was thinking you could um, fasten the bottom of that shut and then you can have that as a hinge you could make yourself a little waterfall tag album like that because you've got that hinge you could do it that way okay make yourself a little mini book with these um, I just thought there's loads of things you could do and that's what does it measure it measures when it's finished and the inside is like four and three quarters by three and three quarters so it's enough to make into a mini album for photos tags journaling whatever and I just saw this as a hinge oh <laughs> so I'm gonna be having a go at that so if you're not making it into a hinge and you're making a bag you attach the bottom like so you could these will be awesome for adding to your TNs your travelers notebooks your junk journals your planners making yourself little pockets you could put holes in there you could put a flap on there you could even punch holes and make uh, just a bag album with just these three um, a bit like a toilet roll mini there's so much you could do with this other than have it as just a treat bag I just think it's awesome I was really really excited when I opened it so this is what I came up with um, and I went for kind of a, a vintage look and basically what I did do was um, and you will notice I've cut mine upside down take note of which way around you're cutting if you've got a design on your paper I grabbed a load of stuff that was I have a pot on my desk I'll just show you that's full of like random die cuts from when I've been cutting and so I just dived in there and I just fished out some things I cut the for you um, out of uh, powder pink I have made this on my little mini envelope punch board today I've been practicing bows this is from a card I made a few weeks back petal palette and a stitch frame um, oval uh, and there you go you've got a really really cute bag great for swaps um, great for anything for gifts you could put a, you could put a card in there and have it a, a, instead of an envelope as I say, you can make mini albums with them. I'm really excited over these thinlets, so just had to come on and share it with you. Um, you get quite a lot for your money. Um, it's awesome, and I will be using this, and this will stay in my stash, and I shall never part with it, because I think it's fantastic. And I think the word dies that are in there as well are brilliant because you could use those on cards as well or on tags or anything so I think it's a really good buy so I just thought I'd come on and share that with you <laughs> so I hope you will have a look at that in the catalogue it is called uh, mini treat bag, thi treat bag thinlets and the code is 137547 uh, and I'm really 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 thrilled with it <laughs> so I, I just had to come and share um i love it i'm going to be making lots of these thanks for watching see you soon bye